Hello everyone, my name is Emmanuel. Welcome to my third video. Today I'm going to be teaching you about operators. So, let's get started. What are operators? Now these are actually symbols that tell the compiler to perform a particular operation. In programming we actually have different types. We have the mathematical operators and hopefully these are symbols that we are used to. We have the addition, we have subtraction, multiplication, division, and modulo. Now modulo might be a bit strange. What it actually does is it returns the remainder after a division operation. An example would be 5 modulo 2 is going to be 1. We also have relational operators and these are used to compare two operands. And operands are simply values that are used to perform an operation. So 1 plus 1, 1 is the operand and plus is the operation. So we have equal to equal to. This simply means equal. So we're trying to see if two operands are the same. An example would be 1 equal to equal to 1. And relational operators actually return Boolean values. If you remember from our last video, Boolean are true or false. So 1 equal to equal to 1 is going to return true. 2 equal equal to 1 is going to return false. Great. Now, we also have not equal to. The exclamation and equal to simply means they are not equal. So 2 not equal 1 is going to return true. Great. So we also have greater than, less than, greater than, equal to, less than, equal to. I believe we know what these mean, but if we don't, we're going to actually dive deeper when we write code. We also have logical operators, and, or, and not. Now the AND operator simply makes sure that the results from multiple operations are valid. For OR though, it makes sure that at least one is valid. So the moment one is true, it returns true. Okay? Then NOT simply reverses the outcome. So if we have true and we say NOT true, it returns false. Don't worry, I'm going to explain further when we write code. Let's go there. Let's open up Xcode and a new project, a new playground project. We're going to select blank and uh, let's call this operations like so. We'll maximize this. Am I the only one who's always excited whenever I want to start writing new code? If you are as well, man, just leave a comment and I'll chat you up. Back to business. So, um, we're going to start with mathematical operations. And a simple example is an addition, an addition of two numbers. Now, if you remember from our last video, we know how to create variables. So let's call this let num. Anyway, this is a constant, not a variable. So let num1 equals 10. Let num2 equals, what is wrong with you? 20. Okay. And whenever we want to add two numbers, you can simply just use the plus operator and say num1 plus num2, right? And we run this, we should see 30 in our console. Okay, this works. Now that's as simple as operators are. We could change this to minus, we run it again. Now this is where things get a little bit more fun. Let's divide this. What do you expect to see? I bet you got it wrong. Anyways, the division of 10 and 20 is actually a decimal, but this is seen as an integer, so it's going to return an integer, which is 0. Now, in situations like this, we might want to actually print out the remainder, right? In order to do that, we make use of the operator that we saw earlier, modulo. When we run this, we should see 10 as the remainder. Awesome, now that works. So that's basically it for mathematical operations. Now let's get to um, relational operations. Okay? Now to do this, we're going to actually use the same numbers and compare. So I'm going to check if num1 is equal to num2. How do we do that? Let's simply print the same way, but now we're going to use equal equal. Now, as I said earlier, it returns a boolean. Now, can you guess what this is going to return? Let's see if you get it. Yep, I bet you got it. So, this and this, they're definitely not the same, right? So, it returned false. It's as simple as that. Now, let's do not equal to, and 
this should return true. Awesome. So we could also we could also do greater than as well as less than and let's move on to logical operations. Now in order to explain this, I'll try to use an example of a library. Let's create a constant called is student. We want only students to be able to access the library. So let's just say true for now. Let we also want you to be able to access the library only if it is open. Let's just use true for now as well. Now we're gonna print something. I want to make sure that you are a student and the library is open. I hope you took note of the word and. Now that's the exact way you're gonna write the statement. So if or no, forget about if is student and is open. Now this is going to return true because both of them are true. But as I said for and for and operators, whenever any operation results in false, it simply breaks. So let's say we write false here. Uh-oh, where am I spelling? So false, and it's going to return false. Okay? Now that's simply it. We, we want to make sure that both or the result of all operators are true. Now the difference between this and the OR operator is that the moment one is true, it returns true, right? So this is the OR symbol, and if we run this, we should get true, because one of them is true. That's simply it. So I want the student to be able to access the library if he is a student, or it is open. I know this doesn't really make sense in this instance, because you should not be able to access the library if it's closed. But anyway, I'm sure you get the gist. Now, finally, let's see how the not operator works. So we're going to print, as I said earlier, Whenever you use the not, it simply reverses the value of that uh, Boolean variable. So, is student, if I printed not is student, simply going to get false. Okay? So, the value of is student is true, but now I've reversed it, and the opposite of true is simply false. That's it, guys. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section. Like the video also, and don't forget to subscribe because next week we're going to be talking about a very important topic that's simply decision statements. So, see you next week.